Today we are going over some amazing new features of Apple Notes on an iPad specifically coming in iOS 18 and you are going to love them all. I can't say this enough, Apple Notes is one of the most underrated free note taking apps especially on an iPad with Apple Pencil which has so many hidden features and tricks. But with iOS 18, Apple has taken it up by a notch starting with smart scribing, AI math notes, collapsible section, voice memo transcription and so much more with all the AI magic. All the iPads Pro 2018 and later, iPad mini 2019 and later, iPad 2019 and later will be eligible for the iOS 18. It's gonna be available for everyone starting September 2024 but if you want early access you can update to public beta right now. So without any further ado, let's get started. Let's start off with the new Smartscribe feature and you will need an Apple Pencil or any third-party pencil. Actually, I'm using a third-party pencil that I got from Amazon for $15. Okay, when you start writing using a pencil, Notes app will do a subtle correction to your handwriting in real time. Like, check this out. Oh my god, it's so satisfying. The change is very very subtle. I might sometimes don't even see any change at all but I think this will be very useful if you often collaborate your notes with someone and it'll help the other person understand or follow your handwriting a little better. It'll keep the same format and the style you have written in but it's just polishing in a very subtle way. This feature is now available in Notes app and even does not work on the free format. Next, I want to talk about another interesting feature that has come with the iOS 18 is the Math Notes. While drafting a note, have you ever switched from calculator and notes app for calculations? Now you don't have to do that. While you're in the middle of taking your math notes or teaching someone, you just have to write the problem and Apple Notes with the help of AI will solve it for you. Now I'm going to write 243 multiplied by 2 and then divided by 172 and the whole thing multiplied by 2 equals and then click on solve and voila you have the answer ready it solved the problem with the same handwriting in real time too that's so cool isn't it check this out i'm going to edit the same problem a little bit i will divide the two by three and see if it can edit the solution in real time too wow this works so well love this feature let's see if it can do some advanced math calculations too check this out y equals x plus four Look at this prompt option to insert a graph here. Click on that and you get a ready-made graph for equations. You can now resize it and move it around and also you can edit the graph in real time like this. I've also noticed in some of the math equations it does not respond well but I guess it's a bug and it'll be fixed soon. But I think it should all work fine with the regular iOS 18 update which will be available in September. Hey, you can now do currency conversion and metric conversion in Notes app. I'm going to write 1000 INR equals... Whoa, it converts directly to USD. Let's see if it can convert the other way around. $100 equals... Okay, now it's converting to euros. You can now also convert metrics like say 3 miles equals... Oh wow, it converted to kilometers. Let's try 3 milliliters equals solve. It's converting to teaspoons. 3 liters equal solve. Now it converts in quads. Let me know in the comments if you know how to manually change the currency or metric unit for desirable answers. But yeah, I still think this is a very cool feature. The next new addition to the Notes app is the voice transcription in real time. When you click on this attach button here, you get the option to scan text, scan documents, take a photo or video and attach files. But this new addition called the record audio can now record audio in real time and transcribe it for you as an editable note. Click on this conversation icon here and then you will get to see the live transcription like this. And then hit done and it gets saved here. You can go back and copy the transcript or even translate it to a different language here and paste it so you can edit it. You can now also click on the words like this to jump to the audio section you want to listen to directly. The next cool feature coming to the notes app is the ability to add collapsible section. What it does is, for example, previously if you are going on a three day trip and you have an itinerary ready on your notes, that would look something more like this. Or maybe you can put it in a grid. But 
what you can now do is you can add a collapsible section like this for easy organization cool isn't it to do this you can make this day one day two day three as a heading and now you can make the mornings afternoons and evenings as a subheading and now you can already see this little arrow here which is the collapsible section you can click on this arrow like this to expand each day's plan separately like this and close it back to keep it neat and well organized so now you can organize your trips your class notes your recipes and so many other things with this collapsible collapsible sections. We all knew we could access quick notes from the control center, but now you can also add regular notes in the control center. Swipe down for the control center, long press, click on add control, then click notes. So now if you click on notes from the control center, it will automatically open a note directly. If you guys are using the Apple Pencil Pro which now is compatible with the M4 iPad Pro and M2 iPad Air, you will have some extra set of features like squeeze functions to switch between tools, colors and line weights, a gyroscope barrel roll for precise brush and pen control and custom haptic feedback that you can feel. Plus, Apple Pencil Hover lets you know exactly where Apple Pencil will touch down on your display for greater precision. Now, let's talk about Apple Notes and Reminder integration. We all want one place to jot down notes or plan a day, week or month and then we want to turn it into a reminders or we want to link it to reminders. To do this, select the note you want to link it to reminders, select the share button on top, here make sure to change it to send copy if it's not and then select reminders app. Here you can rename or edit the notes, then select details, here you can tweak it a little more add dates and time when you want it to remind you about, add tags, when messaging toggle when turned on will remind you about this note when chatting with that person and you can choose a person from this option here. You can then flag this, put it on priority here and then select under which list does this note has to go and then finally you get to select the section you want this note to be in. You can add a new section too. Once done, hit add and now you have integrated your notes with reminders. You can do that to all your notes too. Finally, I have some small nifty features in line so let's go over everything real quick. First off, when you start drawing shapes on notes and give it a pause at the end like this, your shape gets modified and corrected like this. So cool, isn't it? Next, organize notes into folders and subfolders for easy organization. You can now pin important or most used notes to the top like this. You can now open each notes in a separate new window by long pressing on the note and selecting open in a new window and you get just the note as a separate window like this. You can now lock a note using passcode by long pressing on a note and selecting lock note. Click these three dots on the top of your note to get more options like split view and slide over. By doing this, you can now work on multiple apps all at once. So it's easy for those who love multitasking. One more new and nifty feature that's come to the notes is now you can highlight a word or a sentence by selecting the word, click here, select this pen icon and select the color here. You can also start typing new highlighted text by selecting the color here and start writing. There is also another option here to draw a margin for your next note. Again, Apple Notes has so many interesting features and tricks up its sleeves for increasing your productivity all for free. Scan documents, add signature and share it back all with one app, invite people to collaborate in real time, translate notes to a different language, look up text if you don't get it, add links and so much more. You can continue to use your Apple Notes seamlessly on your iPhone, iPad and Mac. Copy a section in one device, paste it in another device, start drafting a note in one device and finish it up in iPad. And Apple updates new features to Notes every now and then so I think you might not need to download a new Notes app which is going to be a paid version anyway. If you think or find any feature which are not available on Apple Notes but are available in other platforms, do let me know in the comments below. I would love to know. So that's it for today. Hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and subscribe to the channel. See you all in the next one. This is Sanjana. Bye bye.